Thanks, Frank. And Shelby County Schools sure does have a multitude of ways to reach all of its students. Another innovative approach is found at Rivercrest Elementary, one of 16 schools in our system to use Arts and Fusion. See these lessons come alive in our School of the Month report. Dana Washington is a former cheerleader, and she's got the energy to prove it. Spice it up, and Art and Fusion does that for us, yes? Her classroom has been compared to some of the nation's best, and it's thanks in part to her use of arts infusion. I use it faithfully because I am arts infused. Like the name says, this program infuses the arts into more traditional subjects, whether you're singing through a grammar concept or dancing to remember the steps of an equation. Rivercrest Elementary is one of 16 Shelby County schools using arts infusion. It captures all the children. It captures your uh, enriched child to your non-enriched child, and every child wants to participate. Washington says she uses arts infusion every day, all day. Her students even need water breaks between lessons. And I feel like when you sing things, when you can dance, when you can get up and be mobile, it helps you uh, remember what you're learning. We bring art and then we bring education together and it just helps us learn a lot. When I go into the classroom and I see that, that impact, that all of those things are actually filtering down to the classroom level, to the student level, is very, very exciting. Brad Faust is the grant facilitator for this program in Shelby County. A former music teacher, he used that art form to help his students in language arts. Mm -hmm. Faust says the arts help individualize lessons. By accessing all those arts areas and connecting it with math and language arts and other subject areas too, science and, and social studies as well, we, we have a much better chance of making that individual impact on every student in the classroom. Susan Eaton is another Rivercrest teacher seeing success from this program. Today, her lesson revolves around visual thinking strategies. The kids get to look at the print and kind of decide what's going on in the print from what they see. Um, and the one we're looking at today is actually made from collage. And after we're done with that, the kids will then create their own artwork using collage. From a traditional art lesson to a more high-tech approach, Visual thinking strategies is a popular arts infusion lesson. So they're learning to say, you know, I don't agree with Carter. I think, you know, that it is a man and a horse in this picture. And, and they're okay with it, so it's teaching a lot of social skills, too. I think it improves the way we think, maybe if we see it one side, and then after we um, do the arts infusion lessons, we see it the, uh, another side. And the traditional subjects are finding their way into arts classes. I can walk into an art classroom or a music classroom and I see them reinforcing what is being taught in the regular classroom. And it really promotes um, growth. It promotes uh, an awareness of diversity. It promotes a love for learning and it promotes unity. For now, Teachers at Rivercrest are asked to teach one arts infusion lesson a week, with quite a few teachers using it much more. Just this past summer, school leaders visited the Tennessee Arts Academy, where they were introduced to schools that were 100% arts infused. The benefits of test scores, uh, discipline, attendance, everything has uh, improved in these schools. I just need to know, continue to learn and research how to bring that whole package here to this school. For Shelby County Schools Report, I'm Ted Beasley.